Jesus, we lift your name on high, your name on high, be lifted high. Jesus, we lift your name on high, your name on high, be lifted high. We sing that. Jesus, we lift your name on high, your name on high, be lifted high. Sing along. Jesus, we lift your name on high, your name on high, be lifted high. We sing that again. Jesus, we lift your name on high, your name on high, be lifted high. We sing that. Jesus, we lift your name on high, your name on high.
you're giving and you see his abundance in everything that you're giving in the name of Jesus 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 in Jesus' name in the precious name of Jesus in the precious name of Jesus in the precious name of Jesus can you raise my microphone in the precious name of Jesus, God, we thank you. God, we thank you. God, we thank you for our giving. God, we thank you. The Bible says by our giving, you rebuke the devour. God, we thank you that the devour is rebuked in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, praise God. Church, praise God. Can somebody give Jesus the glory to his name? I said, can somebody give Jesus the glory give his name? Wait. Can somebody give Jesus the glory? You may get seated in the name of Jesus. I want every empty seat in front to be occupied. Sometimes, sometimes when you over, sometimes when you overgo that side, I always think the church is full. <laughs> and I don't want to think that way anymore. Everybody behind come their seats here. I want this to be full. I want this to be full. Those empty seats behind, you should let, let leave them come and occupy the front ones. Until every seat is occupied. Until every seat is occupied. Until every seat. Barbara, you hear me? Until every seat is occupied. There are seats here. Let us be wise children and redeem time. Deborah Gender Daramueyo, a year empty. Gender Daramueyo, then where you are, another person is by. Pastor Rose, stay in front with your friends. Rachel, come and sit here. Rachel, Jango, Turo, Rukaruma. I don't want to anymore be deceived that we are full when we are not. Sagara put them query in Banti to choose Sanga to not choose Sanga Muchal went to the state of Gavino City. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amina. Now you can greet your neighbor and say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, he ever see. Do we have parents in the house? Can we celebrate parents in the house? <laughs> Can we celebrate parents in the house? Parents, we love you. And we honor you very much. Now we've said on the 13th of November. Listen, we are launching a children's church. Can somebody be excited for that? This is not Sunday school. I said the children is church. Now, the children's church is going to be an independent system. It's going to be sitting on Saturday. So, children will be having their church on Saturday. We are getting best teachers from some other ministries that are going to be partnering with us. So, we want you to prepare that day and prepare the children to come. We want to raise them in a, in a certain way. 
Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor they are going to be raised in a certain way. That's why this is going to be a church. For children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come and see children preaching. Come and see children doing praise and worship. Come and see children, they are going to be wonderful. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then, like we said, beginning with tomorrow. You know, some of you, when they say next week, you may see it. Now, now, listen, this one I want to say it more systematically. Beginning with tomorrow, as mind of Christ, we are entering a season of prayer and fasting. We're going to pray and we're going to be fasting. Now, what is more special is that beginning with tomorrow, we are having services every day. I'm not talking about prayer groups. I'm talking about fellowship. Every day, we have a service. And every night, we have night prayers. If you can make it at night, come. But for the evening hours, I want, I want all of you to come. Because even when you don't come, we shall still fellowship. But I want all of you to come. And we have these services. We are believing God to do something. Somebody shout and say, Man, are you excited of what we are now seeing? Hallelujah. Come and neighbor in Tell your neighbor tomorrow. We are here. Sawa kumi. From four till seven. Mugambe neighbor in charge. Tell them neighbor. Tulina service. Tomorrow we, we've got a service. Ne here. Tuesday day tulina. Likewise, ne Wednesday tulina. Wednesday. Ne Thursday tulina. Thursday. Ne Friday tulina. Friday. Ne Saturday tulina. Saturday. Ne Sunday tulina. And Sunday we shall still be here. So we are having services every day. No way. So we don't have to get up on service. And we are fasting. Praise joy. Praise God. Come here, let's see. Treasure of my heart and of my soul. In my weakness, you are my soul. In my love, my past and present. First Corinthians chapter number 14. First Corinthians chapter number 14. And verses 2. First Corinthians chapter number 14. And verses 2. Get your notebook. Get your Bible. And go to First Corinthians. The chapter is number 14. If you're sick and you're here, as we are preaching the gospel, please check yourself. God is here to hear us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, first Corinthians chapter number 14. And verses number 2. Now let's read it together. 1, 2, 3. KJV. 1, 2, 3. Wait, wait. Can we read the word of God? 1, 2, 3. For no man understands how bait in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Praise the 
sino kansomese okute katekira ebiro betu yingira haleluya haleluya the bible says he that speaks in unknown tongue bible yagamba oya yogera munimi does not speak unto men tayogere li mwana wa muntu the bible says he speaks unto god bible yagamba ayogere li katonda he says for no man understands him kubanga tewali mwana wa muntu anza mujigira how bait in the spirit agamba wabula mu moyo the bible says he speaks mystery ayogera byama Now mysteries that word mysteries they are meaning secrets. Tetigambe to mysteries titegeza byama. That the one who speaks in a known tongue. Into yayogera munimi. The Bible says in his spirit. Agamba mumoyo we. The scriptures say he speaks secrets. Bible agamba egamba abayogera byama. Tell your neighbor secrets. Gamba yakulira nti byama. Gamba neighbor byama. Tell them secrets. Mukubo ryo mugambe byama. Stop them and tell them secrets. Mongero ryo mugambe byama. Tell them these are secrets you speak. Hallelujah. 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 Come on hallelujah. 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 There are things in the spirit world that may not be known to your senses. For example, right now somebody might be planning to kill you. Waliwo omuntu eya inzo kuba alozo kutusa ketemu. And now for you you busy praying for marriage you're praying, praying for joy, joy. but there is somebody planning to kill you somebody is planning to harm you somebody is planning to do something wrong to your children there is a person planning evil against your marriage now you don't need first know this pray for it kati go to take a to manya go or you go to sabili praise the lord jesus yes so christ ever hallelujah hallelujah somebody is blackmailing you at the workplace waliwo akuryamo olukwe oyo jokolera you don't need it first know it asigeri nyalya akasako and hata to wait aga soka chimanya you don't need to first know it to pray for it toina soka titegero lyo ko sabili there is an utterance in God waliwo enja tulamukatonda that searches where your eyes cannot reach egendo obusiba na masoko je katasobula kutuma the bible says where you pray bible egamba ngo saba you can begin averting those plans osobola tandi ko kusisa ko kusala mu sasata mu never you about obe ebe bwa ditomanyi nako na for you see everything going well ko lame bitu nanga bitamba bulungi somehow somewhere you don't know there was an evil plot tomanyi ntwa that was actually made against your life the bible says bible that the spirit of god in romans chapter number 8 and verses 26 the bible says the spirit of god bible the spirit of god the spirit of god the spirit of god the spirit of god the bible says the spirit of god bible says us in our infirmity he says so we do not know what we ought to pray for that means there are things we ought to pray for but we don't know this we don't know this Now there are things we know. Wow wow And we are so concerned about it. Atenga bitu kwata konyo. But there are things that we do not know. Na yete unsa walwo nebyo bitamanyi. But the spirit of God. Na yenga temo yo amkama katonda. The Bible says the eye of the Lord walks to and fro. Tukira Bible tukambe listo ya mkama litambulo kugenda leli koma wo. There is anybody planning something bad against you. Wabawo omuntu ayin ateka teko kukola ko bulabi. The spirit of God knows it. Moyo wa mkama atumanyi. And the Bible says he helps us. He says for we know not what we should pray for. As we ought. As we ought. As we ought. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gamba neighbor tetumanyi kusaba. Tell your neighbor we don't even know to pray. Ngawe tuteke wo kukola. Like we ought to do. Na yo moyo wa katonda. The spirit of God. Bible gamba atuyamba. The Bible says he helps us. There are things he knows. What we mean to moyo wa kama katonda byamanyi. And you may not know them. Ngawe we wa wenzo kwatu nabitegera watu bimanyi. That right now when you begin to pray, and you're praying in tongues. 
the spirit of God. You may be praying for something in Entebbe. Yet the Lord is sorting something in Masaka. And he knows what is sorting in Masaka. Is more harmful than what you're dealing with in Abai Tababi. So he said, the spirit of God is That the spirit of God is given to us. To help us. Now the next verse says, He says, And he that searches the hearts, He that searches, The hearts, The Bible says, He knows what is in the mind of the spirit. Then he says, but he, because he makes intercessions for the saints according to the will of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know the next verse says, and now we know that all things. Hey. He says, now we know this, that all things work together for good. Now, I want, to, I want to make you understand this scripture. When he says, we know that all things work together for good. He's actually explaining Verses 26 and 27. This verse is not separated from this. He's literally trying to say that whatever the Holy Spirit helps us to pray for, will work for good. Because, of course, the Everything that happens is to work for your good. But something connected to what the Holy Ghost is speaking through you. That's where the mind of the scripture was. That anything that comes in the alignment and the agreement of the Holy Spirit. That means when we are speaking in tongues, all things are working together for good. Tell your neighbor, all things are working together for my good. For the spirit prays within me in Jesus' name. Now, listen. The Bible says, Ephesians chapter number 6 and verses 10. Look at it. He says, finally. He says, brethren. He says, be strong in the Lord. He says, brethren. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Hey. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, there is a might he provides. And so he's telling you, be strong in this. Now, I want to read verses 12. Listen, verse 12. He says, For we wrestle. He says, for we wrestle not with fresh and blood. He didn't say we don't wrestle. He said we wrestle not against fresh and blood. Can you imagine that? Now, that whom you think is your enemy is actually not the one. The things he's talking about, they are not personalities. Somebody say amen. Say amen. He says, We wrestle not. With fresh and blood. He says, But against principalities. Somebody say principalities. Say it with me, say principalities. He said, Principalities. Against powers, 
against the rulers of darkness of this world he says against spiritual wickedness in high presence there is a wrestling there Tell them there is a wrestling. Tell them there is a wrestling. Tell them there is a Tell them is Now it says spiritual wickedness. In the high presses. Do you know those presses? Let me tell you, things don't just happen. Everything you see in your life it has the beginning. China and Tandiqua. And there are spirits responsible for it. Atenga walwe mio ye tifuna nisiba. Are you still with me? Uchali nange. Praise God. Christy yes yeva ziwe. Paul is telling us Paul to gamba. we wrestle not against principalities nor powers now, he says spiritual wickedness in the high press somebody says spiritual wickedness but you see, we have a solution to this. Na yetu ine chokuta mwezi embele. Somebody said, tongues go parika. E nimi wame wakambe nimi sita mu. Sanu kula. Hallelujah. He says, in a high praises. Mubi febi awa. Give me the next verse. He says, next verse. He says, put on. Agamu, no luwe chomu ambalenga. Kuma neighbor uye omogambe, put on. Slap your neighbor and tell them, yambala. He says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to, to stand in the evil day. Brothers and sisters, seasons can change. Seasons can change. The Bible says God changes seasons and times. In the book of Daniel chapter number 2, I think verses 21. He says he is a God that changes seasons and times. Hey, he says and he changes the times and the seasons. Some say he changes. Gamba, he changes. Se, achusa. So he says he changes seasons. The achusa, he said, and the times. Nebido. The Bible says he removes kings. Bible gamba, and he sets up kings. Era na, na, na but you so must chabu, come but with the wisdom na yote to help you to understand the change of seasons. And also to understand the change of time. There are people who may live in the right season. But in long time. Are in the right time. But in the long season. Are in the right time. But in the long season. Seasons can change. So he says, put on. That you may be able to stand in the evil day. Then he says that having done all to stand. The next verse. He says, stand therefore. Having your loins cut. We about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Next verse. He says, and your feet showed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Go on. Then he says, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherein you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the devil, of the wicked one. Praise God. Hallelujah. He says, above all, 
He said, Take on the shield of faith. He says, Whereby you shall be able. The Bible says to quench. To quench. All the fire and darts. Of the there, is, there is always an attack that the, that the enemy can launch against you. He can launch it against your finances. He can launch it against your family. He can launch it against your ministry. He can, against, he can launch it against your own life. The message version calls it the missiles. <laughs> Let me see. Let's go. Okay. On. And salvation. Uh, let me begin from 16. 16. Six. Okay. 17. 17. He says, And salvation are more than words. Learn how to apply them. He says, You need them throughout your life. God's word is an indispensable weapon. Go on. Then he says, There's a scripture I want. Praise the Lord. First, go back to. I think they, they, maybe 15. There's a verse I read which was saying that the, the missiles. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you get it in the message there? It, it talks about the missiles of the Jeffrey devil. Mububaka, there was message amplified. One of those verses. Praise God. Amen. Can we please get it? You, you will Jeffrey. love it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 16. Aha, uh -huh, in amplified. Right? Look at it. It says, Lift up over all the covering shield of saving faith, upon which he says you can quench all the framing missiles. Yes. 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 Of the wicked one. And the Bible says you can quench them. Bible I think yesterday evening we were saddened with some funny news. I, I heard that there was some bomb attack in Kampala. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says with faith. He says you can be able to quench. He says all the framing dark missiles of the devil. Of the devil. That anything he launches against you, you can get it and put it down. Tell anybody you can get it. And put it down. The Bible says, For no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. The Bible says, Cannot. But you see, it doesn't say no weapon is formed. He says, the weapon, he says weapons are formed. He says, But even when they are formed, he says, No weapon formed. Against your life shall be able to, to prosper. But you see, we must talk how to deal with this kind of weapons. Shout and say hallelujah. Kuba neighbor umgambe hallelujah. Kuba te kumunye nyamugambe hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, he ever said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says you can deal with these missiles. Agambe mizinga tino yinzo tuku asaganya. These missiles. E mizinga tino. You can deal with them. O sovolo tiziki zobo tisanya. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then verse 17. 17. Romu kumi nam sam. 17. He says, and take the helmet of salvation, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit. He says, which is the word of God. Yambala engule eyebulo kozi. Give me 18 in the message. Now, 18 says, Praise the Lord Jesus. Tell your neighbor prayer. Gamba neighbor prayer. Now, look at this in the message. 
He says in the same way He says prayer is essential In this ongoing warfare He says pray hard And wrong He says pray hard and long. When pray hard. And long. When pray hard. Slap them again and tell them. And long. What's the definition of hard? What's the definition of hard? The Bible says pray hard. Bible says pray hard. Listen, he's not talking about this kind. But you, you, you know what is going yeah. In Jesus' name. And may the grace. That's not what he's talking about. That's not what he's talking about. He says there is an ongoing warfare. Now he says in this ongoing warfare, he says pray hard. You understand what I mean? That you pray till whatever pedicure, manicure you are wearing vanishes off or faints off. You pray. The Bible says you pray hard. Bible says you he says you pray hard and you pray long I'm not talking about two minutes I'm not talking about one minute I'm not even talking about 30 minutes the Bible says pray hard and pray long listen some people don't understand the definition of praying hard. You're still minding too much about yourself in prayer. You pray like you don't know what is happening. Oh, you pray like you don't even know what you're dealing with. There are things we deal with in prayer. And the things we deal with in prayer. We don't just chase them as though we are chasing a caterpillar. The word of God says pray hard. And it says pray long. There don't ever pray hard. And pray long. Listen, when you understand what you're dealing with, some of you there are nations that only depend on your prayer. That once you begin praying, there are people whose lives are just safe because you're speaking. When you understand this prayer, you will realize that what we deal with now, it is, listen, it is not just to have food. It is not just to have clients at the workplace. We are dealing with something so big. We are dealing with something so high. The Bible says these are wickedness. In the high presses, Paul is the one telling Paul us. Atugamba. He dealt with them. He, he says, I fought with Agamba. He, he says, I fought with his lioness. He entered into Ephesus. Ephesus. And he found the whole city given to one who led Diana. And the Bible says his spirit was dead. When he saw a whole generation given to idolatry, and the Bible said the whole city was given to the great goddess Diana. 
And for this cause, Paul tells the Ephesians, he says, day and night, I remember in my prayers, how long I was Paul praying? Paul was it was day and night. He says day and night. In my prayers, I remember you. I remember day and night. Day and night. He says day and night. I give thanks to God. I remember in my prayers. And he says I know you're born again. in the knowledge of him. He said that the eyes of your understanding may become open. He says your eyes must open to the realities. And he says once you understand this, he says every missile of the devil, Paul says you put it down. Listen, your children don't just fall sick. There are people who are in the hospital every day. Every money they get, they spend in the hospital. When the children is okay, the wife gets sick. The Bible says there are wickedness in the high places. And the Bible says, even when we don't know about them, the Spirit gives us a language. Le zupa katere, pe toto ropara, me katero ko, shaka peke parate. And while we are speaking tongues, things are getting organized, things are getting aligned, things are getting in order. Something begins to move. Seasons begin to change. Seasons begin to change. Times begin to change. What was not working begins to work. Come on, hallelujah. But there are things we are dealing with. Let me tell you. Some of you may be single. But I want to tell you. Why are you praying tongues? You are sorting your marriage. You are sorting your children. You are sorting your grandmother. You are sorting your mother in row. You are dealing with things. That may be far away from your reach. But the Bible says by the Spirit of God. The Bible says, is it the weapons of our warfare? Listen, it is our warfare. It is our warfare. He said the weapons of our warfare. We have a war. So he said that he said for the weapons of our. He said they 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 they, they, they are not cannon. We don't use guns. We don't use spears, arrows. We don't use such things. But he said they are mighty. Through God. Now he says to the pulling down. Of strongholds. People of God. When we pray something happens. Listen. I was reading a scripture. The Bible says. And they came. And Mordecai. He told Esther. He says Esther do something. Esther said how do I do it. How can I do it. But he says. I want you people. To join me in prayer and fast with me for only three days. And while they were fasting and they were praying for three days, they didn't know what was happening. But somewhere the king got organized. Something started getting to operate. Esther said, Join me three days. I'm in the palace. But I know how to get liberty. Because there is a demon called Naman. 
We can't fight it with our own power. Listen, people of God. And they entered fasting. Three days. Kabareko Santa. Kepeto Poraka. Rakato Sote. Manto Para. Iko Opare. Rateko Satara. Epratika. Rate Barataha. Emakopa. Epopare. Maradosia. That's day one. And day two. Shakatere kumata. Roproti. Tatoro. Ipatika. Shikare kapaha. Rekete parava. That was day two. They came back for day three. Rekita masha. Rapakateka. Roposa. Tapara. Shekete. Ro. Rakapara. Shakapa. That was their victory. We deal with missiles. There are people who don't wish us to increase. The Bible says, and they are lost a king. They do not know Joseph. And he says, We're going to hacken them. We're going to put the heavy burden on them. And the Bible says, Bible and the children of Israel, Israel, they went to their God. Say, do you know the Bible says that the more they persecuted them, was the more they increased. Was the more they increased. Was the more they increased. The more they increased. The more they you broke them, they increased. You stopped them, they cut. They, 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 they kept on shining. Until their enemy said, what this? They are not the weapons of our warfare. They are not cannon. But mighty through God. Listen, I was reading a story. I was reading a story about Christianity in our nation. The first church in this nation was full gospel. Full gospel. Full gospel Makerere. It was the first born again church in Uganda. And I was reading about them. There is one time they had gathered for an evening fellowship. And a man had ordered, he had said, No born again church should be praying in this nation. And that one evening, a man sent his soldiers and they went to full gospel church. When they reached at the church, when the brethren saw them, the writers say, when they behold them, they lifted up their hands and they spoke in tongues. Listen, this is fresh story. And they speak in tongues. They are just for Amin. The soldiers of Amin got hold of their guns and turned back. Tell about the church was speaking in tongues. Bible the Bible says they got Paul. And Silas. And they put them in the prison. And they locked the prison. Whoa! Hey. They locked the prison. The Bible says at midnight. The That you only need the spirit of God to explain them. The Bible says, Bible and the angel of God walked into the prison. And he opened the gate. Actually, the Bible says it was an iron gate. Bible and the Bible says he opened it. And yet there were also guards or soldiers. He passed by them. 
and he found Peter inside. He tells Peter, Peter. He commands Peter to wake up. Like, put on your shoes. And he said, come. The Bible says when Peter woke up, he thought he was dreaming. He saw doors opening by themselves, gates opening by themselves. And when they passed the door closes again. When he got out, Peter, the Bible said he thought it was a dream. And then he realized that an angel of God had visited him in the prison. In the prison. But the Bible says before that was happening the Bible says prayer was made of the church. Prayer was made of the church. The church was praying. The Bible says they were praying without ceasing. Because the Bible says in Keroji that Kerote he had bearded gems and after killing gems the Bible says he saw that they got excited and he stretched his hand again he killed Jacob and people kept quiet and they were actually they jubilated over it. It's like, let me kill them one by one. It seems it pleases my people. Let me get a hold of them one by one. This time around, he went to the rock. He touched the rock. And the church said, Enough is enough. enough. Tell a neighbor, enough is enough. Come a neighbor, a chimara, chimara. Enough is enough. The other day you lost your money. Do this sentence up, Guaco. You didn't mind you said, No, 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 the Bible says they are spiritual wickedness. In the high places. And you know why they are I was reading about the, this guy called uh, Alexander Dawi. This man was pastoring a church. And the members of the church started dying. After every three months, they are burying. They are burying. Dawi goes back to God and says, Where is this God who used to raise the dead? Where are you? If I'm tired of burying. My Bible tells me there is the one who raised the dead. I don't want to bury any more. And the Lord spoke to him. He told him, Every attacker you've seen, it's not of me. It's from the devil. Be very That we went in the full and the power of the Holy Ghost. Said this cannot be anymore. Or the other one who tried to ambush is dying or is dying. <laughs> we are told the story has it that he got hold of this body <laughs> put it against the wall <laughs> the story started reading out scriptures to this corpse. After reading scriptures to this dead body, he lifted up his voice. 
And he said, you spirit of death. Get out! The one who was dead coughed back life. And that was the end of that we ever burying. And he these are spiritual wickedness. I was reading about church growth. And in humility, I'm giving these stories because I've read them. The man did the church and the church was not growing. And one night he entered into his church. And he sat down and started praying. So God, why is the church not growing? Why is the church not growing? <laughs> And he writes and says while he was praying in the middle of the night he saw a, a tall thing in the middle of the church with the head of a pig. And this thing the Lord told him that this thing was responsible for people sleeping in church. One of the churches are going down. Churches that you enter, you speak and men are just nodding, they are agreeing to everything, but in deep sleep. You see a brother saying, Amen, 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 Amen. That thing does not just happen. You see, when the Lord is speaking, you don't have to be in the because they never spent a, a night out they, in the overnight. they didn't have any overnight. What would make them sleep at exactly And the Lord exposed this to the man of God. And when he saw it, he launched an attack on it in the name of Jesus. He said the next Sunday revival started in the church. Don't you just say a person dozing off in church and you say I heard no, like that they are, maybe they didn't have enough sleep at night. No. Come and never sit to row. Tell your neighbor it's not sleep. In the first place. Come to roll. Not sleep in the first place. I think the preacher is like me. You find that a preacher is not boring, but a person is slumbering, dozing off, drowsy, and before you know it, you would ask, is it the preacher who is excited too much? I mean, the preacher the who is like me. Yes. But the person is as if the preacher is boring them. Eh? They sleep as if they are bored. The preacher is fiery, speaking tongues and and that was killing the church. The Bible says they are wickedness. In the high presses. They don't want people to advance. They don't want people to be free. They, want, they don't want people to prosper. Even poverty is a spirit. I'm telling you, it's a spirit. That's why this week we are praying. This week we are praying. Unceasingly. Long and hard. He says, pray hard. He says, pray hard. The Bible says, pray. Paul says, my brothers, if you to begin to pray for if you to pray what you're dealing with is yours alone mind nothing on any man listen this is your marriage you're dealing with this is your ministry you're dealing with. This is your future you're dealing with. This is your children you're dealing with. Hallelujah, praise the Lord Jesus. This is your business you're dealing with. You cannot be broke and remain broke. Uh -uh. And I refuse. 
kambo ya kwenye ntisi samuli njeri ya yesu chikana mse saro koka kubona bona kama neba mse saro koka kubona bona you never got safe to suffer we didn't get saved to only suffer no neda neda the bible says the kingdom of god dempe is firstly peace sanyu joy in the holy ghost we must carry certain joy that's why mind of christ i'm excited to preach to you why because you're full of joy you're full of peace you're full of understanding the joy of the lord is your strength when you enter a given church and you find they have no joy or oh, happiness There are churches you enter and everyone is moody. They are too moody. Tell all you going to gamba wamu yi marwa. A sick person goes back sick. A poor person goes back poor. As it was so shall it be. Ngabwe chali bwe chiteke tuo kuba we chinaba. Bwe ba manyire bintu. Ngabwe chali. As it has been. So shall it be. No! Neta! Then I must be happy every day. I must be peaceful every day. I must be laughing every day. I must be smiling every day. I must be glorious every day. Katondo wase wa manyi!
Listen, the Bible says he has given us the tongue of the learning. To know how to speak it. And he said, a prudent man, he foresees the evil. When they are trying to, they, 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 they are just preparing to fire you from the oak press. You know it before. And you resign. And you resign. <laughs> before the guy is planning to chuck you, you chuck him before. And you chuck him before. I foresee. Say, I carry the understanding. Mugamba, I carry the wisdom. Mugamba, I know my future. Mukumari, Mugamba, I know my future. The future cannot be hidden from us. Lift up your hand. Can you deal with something in two minutes? Hey, shall changing me and changing you. Pray hard. Sabira Dara. Pray hard. Sabira Dara. Pray hard. Sabanaman. Pray hard. Change it now. Change it now. Change it now. The Bible says pray hard. Change it now. Bravada Gezako. Don't just Get the reco shatter. Change it in the name of Jesus. Reke do shopa. Kamba ndangi robramu. Obrame raba na bangi. Ndangi robramu. Obrame le mi mo change. Ndangi robramu. Obrame lo buereza. Rate kopaje. Roko pose kata. Sita muku fira. Sita muku bura. Sita muku fira. Sita muku bura. Muinya ya Yesu. I walk in a band. Pray hard. Pray hard. Pray hard. Losing money is not of God. It's not of God. It's not of God. Dealing and a chocati. Dealing and embere yokati. Choose a embere kati. Yokera na yokati. Yokera na yokati. Omo korogo gunabera gua dembe. Abana baba na bera ba dembe. Emiri mo chochi na bera cha dembe. Omo wele sabo na bera ba dembe. Kaba reko shekapa. Reke dosho koropa. The Bible says there are misers, but we are dealing with them. Mind of Christ shall grow. 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 In the name of Jesus. Mind of Christ shall grow. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mind of Christ, you will grow. You are financially free. 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 No more lack. Kapareto para. Shetere kabara. Petete te para. God, you're changing seasons. Change the seasons. 
Let that woman see a change in seasons. Let that man see a change in seasons. May God change your 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 seasons. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May God change your seasons. May God change your seasons. May God change your seasons. I deal with every spirit that had launched an attack against your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I attack whatever attacks you. I rebuke whatever attacks you. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. The power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Sylvia, come. Words of hope ever true. Give us strength in this world. Stand there. Where we are. Stand there. Essence while we got it. Asha, stand behind her. Oh, essence words ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Ancient words ever to Something you now. Changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Back, holy words it. of our faith and down to this age come to work through May God change your season now. Oh, through faithful words. May God change your season. 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 Hold it again. May God change your season. 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 You spirits. In the name of Jesus. Get out of her now. Get out of her now. Get out. Do I have ashes here? Get out of her now. Get out of her now. Get out of her now. Get out in Jesus' name. Get out in Jesus' name. You spirit, I command you now. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 Rakate. Sete pakate. Ligabato sombrete. La cumbrete libaba la sucia. Sobrekete libakaya. Rose likatakaye. Get out of her. Get out of her. Get out of her now. Get out of her now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I destroy poverty. I destroy poverty. I destroy love. You are a spirit. And I command you now. Come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Come on, pray. Speak to God. You're free. 
The power of the Holy Ghost. Ancient words ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Ancient words ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have come no more with open hands. No more in the name of Jesus. Oh, let the ancient no more. Mm. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Give us strength. Help us cope in this world where we roam. God change your season now. God change our season now in Jesus' name. Ancient words ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have come. With open hearts, may God change your season now. May God change your season now. May God change your season now. Liga de si praga di se prele telebo barahasi en dere de bosta. Liga da sonto osta liga da sindo prediga ba. Le pado suzere prali la la mambre jadi zata asti. Kele kumbra gazileti la kusieli mambra lita. Lo zolombra alibo pro uste praka ya tile mambre. Ishambra gazesi etelima aproso. May God give you the joy. Mencheli mandoro susalita gareba. Maka yele prososia. In the name of Jesus. Uninyelia yes. Woman, God is doing a new thing in your life. Katonda kole tijamblamu. God is doing a new thing in your life. Katonda kole tijamblamu. God is doing a new thing in your life. Katonda ine tijachakula mblamu. Lift up this lady. People pray. The Bible says pray hard and low. Saba muman. I shall help here. Lift up your hands. Wani ke mikono jo mama. In the name of Jesus Christ. From the crown of your head. To the sword of your feet. Power of the Holy Ghost. Rabasato kumbrele ke basata lade, shodis ke predis ke mukunta galizila tali balado zozata, rete ke teli zarata prozozata, prozuze limombre le tigala prozosta, lo shikate li badiza telebro, peteli mo sati. Beware and fear Jesus name. Rande prozosta asile producia, repete kile kurosa kimpro lande li gadoste. God give her joy. Manto zoranta. May God give you new joy and peace in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're free. From today, in the name of Jesus, from today, every adversary that comes against your life. The Lord says he will deal with it. He expands your influence. And God has promised to use you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In 
Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We change seasons. Lift up your hands. The Bible says there are wickedness in the high places. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. I command everything that is not of God. Lose your life now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Whatever is not of God, every demonic spirit, every demonic spirit, every working of the enemy, everything that was done in your absence, in Jesus' mighty name, be free. Poverty be no more. Sickness and disease be no more. God, thank you. In Jesus' name. Our time is spent. I desire that we end here. Beginning with tomorrow. Every day we are here.